Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about custom sheet metal component. This is absolutely for beginners. Here I am going to explain how to create base flange, create cutouts, holes and embossed feature. So this is the component I am going to create. So let's start now. Here I have taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file. Select the front plane. Select sketch. Draw a line from the origin. Simply move, move mouse rightward and just move backward. It will form a arc. So the distance between the center point and the end point is 10 mm. Arc radius is 5 mm. Now I am going to draw one more sketch. Here select the line command. Similarly draw an arc. And draw a line. See the distance between the center point and this line is 40 mm. Ten mm. Our radius is five mm. Here we can either give the dimension or select these two arcs and make it equal constraint. The distance between this line and center point is 80. The distance between these two lines is 40. See the sketch is constrained. Here I am going to apply fillets of 4 mm. So the sketch is completed now. So you can see the dimensions. Now I am going to create base flange. So I have taken 2 mm of the sheet thickness. And radius also I am taking 2 mm and k factor is 0.45 it should be always less than 0.5 so take any value of less than 0.5 and here select a mid plane and this value is 60 mm Now 
now I am going to create these cutouts. So select the unfold command, select this face, collect all bends, save okay. now Select this face, keep it normal. Go to sketch. Take a rectangle. So we are going to create two cutouts. This is ten. Twenty-five, twelve mm. The distance between this edge and this edge is fifty-five. Sixty-five, twenty-five, and uh, distance between this line and uh, outrage is seventeen point five. Now go to sheet metal, select extruded cut. So in sheet metal we have to make practice of uh, selecting this link to thickness say okay now select the fold command and collect all bends say okay So this cutout is created now. Now I am going to create this cutout. So select this face, go to sketch, draw a rectangle. Ten mm. Ten mm, and uh, distance between this edge and uh, this line is twenty. Draw a center line from the origin. Now select mirror command, select this square and select this center line. Say OK. So either we can do it in the sketch or mirror feature. So we can use mirror feature from this. So select extruded cut. We have to link to thickness and say OK. Now I am going to create these two holes. Select this face, go to sketch, delete previous, 
select this face sheet metal module and select this hole we have to select the simple hole and say ok here also we have to link to thickness now edit this sketch so this is the best practice while creating a simple hole So diameter is 12. Draw a center line from the origin. Now select mirror entity, select the circle and center line. The distance between these two holes is 28. Keep it in Y frame, it is not selecting. This outer edge and the center point distance is 24. Say okay. See the hole is created now. Now I am going to create this embers feature. So we have to go to design library and forming tool folder. See here. From design library, we have to select the forming tool folder. Here, embossed features. So, I am going to take this countersink emboss and place it on the this flat face. See, we have to see the orientation. It is downward. So, we have to verify after placing. Otherwise, if you want other direction, we have to flip this. But the uh, orientation required is in this direction. Later, we have to position this. So, select the position tab, keep it normal. See, it is going to highlight this point. So, if I click this, it is going to place one more feature. So, to avoid that, right click and select this. So, at this moment, I am deleting this, not required. Now, simply drag this line to the midpoint of this edge. See here. And drag this point to this end point. So, now it is exactly at the center. Now, dimension this line. So it is 28. Say OK. Say here. So this uh, component is has been created now. See, when we create any cutouts at the bend, we have to make sure that this top edge, the side edge should not be inside the bend, otherwise it won't create. That is the limitation of the software. And here also, this edge should not be inside the bend so we have to take that precaution
this is how we create a custom sheet metal component in solver sheet metal module thanks for watching